Today's video, we're gonna be replacing the front wheel bearings on this Ram 1500, so let's get started. Okay, welcome back to today's video, you guys. So I've already diagnosed the problem on this truck, the vibration, the noise, and I'll link that above for you guys so you guys can check out how to diagnose it, make sure it's not your CV uh, joints or anything like that, making the vibration or the noise, and how you can isolate the problem before you actually go ahead and order the parts. So check out that video above, or I'll put in the link in the description below. So we've got brand new bearings. These are Timken bearings. They're surprisingly, and I believe, I think it's the same manufacturer that is supplying Mopar with these parts. But anyways, I'll link them down below for a good price on these. We got two of them. We're gonna replace both of them. We'll get the wheels off and we'll get started. So once you get the wheel off, you're gonna see something like this. Make sure everything's supported by jack stands. And we're gonna take off our caliper first so we can get the rotor off. So 13 mil bolt here. And then we've got our 21s on the back. Next up, you're gonna disconnect the ABS wire from your brake line. This little clip pulls apart. You can take a pry bar and insert it against your pad just to retract the piston so you can get your caliper off a little bit easier as well. There's two pistons, so two slots. And then once you retract your pistons, it'll make it easier to get the caliper off. So put it off and out of your way. You can find a place for it to rest without falling or you can use a tie wrap. Either way, but just don't hang it from the brake line. You can leave your pads intact and we'll take out our 221s. Once you remove your 221 mils, then the bracket will come off and your rotor will come off as well. Okay, next step is my fender liners are removed already because we're doing some other stuff, but you're gonna see this clip on the back of your fender liner. So you're gonna lift the red latch right there, squeeze it, disconnect it, and then these ones here, you don't have to break them or do anything like that. You have to just put a screwdriver inside and open up the latch like so. So it opens like that. Here's another one over here. You just lift it and you lift the latch out so you can get it out of the way. So these bearings come with brand new ABS sensors. So we might as well put the new ones in since it comes with the assembly. But if you get bearings that don't come with it, you'll have to transfer it over and remove that Allen. Next step, you need a 36 mil socket and preferably an impact. So you can just buzz off this nut. So there's the nut off. So let's take off the nut. You might have to just tap your axle in a bit. So that it can come off and i'll show you this next one this one's optional but it makes it a little bit faster i believe so you're gonna loosen this 21 but leave a couple of threads on it we're gonna whack the side of here to split the ball joint and that just allows you to rotate everything forward so that your axle slips out a little more so you can access these three bolts that are on the back that hold on this hub assembly so once your nuts loose and has a couple threads on you're gonna take a hammer and this a few times and you'll see this separate. There you go. And then we can remove our nut. And this will rotate forward. And with this whole assembly being able to rotate forward now, we can push our axle much further out or tap it out. We know how stuck yours is. And what that'll do is give you clear access to the three 21 mil bolts on the back. So these two bolts on this side are out and to give yourself a bit more room for this one on this side, turn the steering wheel out this way and rotate everything so that you can get more access on this side. And we already removed this bearing not too long ago for our test. So it's pretty much just gonna fall out. But if you live in the north where there's salt and all that, kind of stuff. You might have a harder time getting your bearing out. You might have to give it a few love taps to get it out. So once you remove the last bolt, your heat shield's going to come with it. And there you go. It's off. If you haven't seen the last video, this one's making a bunch of noise. Not as bad as it probably could get, but enough that it's causing a vibration and a lot of grittiness in the front. So that one's out. 
And here's the brand new one. Let's throw her on. Just a quick comparison before I throw it on of this Timken one versus the factory one. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one, you guys, as far as casting and everything. It's probably Timken that was contracted to make the Mopar one. It's even got 10.9 stamped on the back. The studs look identical. Like the casting marks are identical. And you can even see there it's got similar printing as this one the amazon listing actually shows this chrysler part number on it too you can even see even the face of them are machined identical so let's throw her on even the studs like i said look the same from this side as well so we're going to feed our wire through now we're going to throw this on here make sure your wire is going up towards the top and we'll throw in one bolt from the back side to hold it once you get all three bolts in, tighten them all down and torque them down to spec. So we'll install our ball joint, throw our 21 back on, and we can tighten this down. And if yours is spinning, there is a 10 mil at the bottom that you can use to hold the actual ball joint, the center portion, if your nut's spinning with the actual bolt that comes through. Okay, this is tight, tightened down to the manufacturer's spec, and then we'll go ahead and we'll throw on our rotor and our caliper bracket. Our 221s are tightened and torqued down. Let's throw on our pads and our caliper. So our 213s are tight and torqued and we can go ahead and we'll tighten up our 36 mil axle nut. Axle nuts torqued down. Now let's route our ABS wire. So it's pretty cool. The ABS actually does come with these same connectors or same hold downs. So if you went Donkey Kong on yours, and you got some new ones, but since mine are already in there and good, I'm just gonna remove these, and we'll route it the same way it came off. So here's the routing. There's one on the back here, one on top of the brake line. Make sure your brake line is going this way too, don't, because if you twisted somehow or manipulated your caliper, you don't want this to be like bent over here where it's gonna drag in your wheel, so make sure it's over here. Another clasp there, and then finally, it gets attached, and like I said, this would be on the back of your fender line here, but right now, just doing some other stuff, so I have it just tie wrapped out of the way. So this side is done, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna whip right through the passenger side, it's gonna be the exact same procedure. Uh, only difference you might have is yours might not be four wheel drive, so you might have to, or might not have to do that whole step, but same thing. We're gonna go ahead, get the caliper off, ball joints, axle nut loose, take the rotor off, and get in there. Here's the old one, same thing, has the same amount of grittiness as the driver's side did. A little noisy too and kind of making a little clicking noise inside and that's without any load on it. We got the new one. Let's get it in there. So we got this front wheel bearing on. Everything's tight and good. We are done. Whatever's gone bad in this, you can hear it shaking inside. And I'm also happy to comment to you guys that I just took it for a test drive and there was no more pulsating vibration around 65. Everything is smooth, so we're good to go. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys found it helpful or informative, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, check out the other videos on this channel. We got a lot of different content for the Rams and all sorts of other crazy and cool stuff. Everything that we use will be in the description below, so check it out and I'll see you guys on the next video.